Have you ever wanted to put together a really simple ingredient sweet treat? Well, today we're going to whip up this two ingredient, gluten dairy free snack that will fit your sugary cravings. Come along with me. Welcome everyone back to my channel where I share the simple island life on the east coast of Canada, showcasing gluten and dairy free eating, sewing, gardening, and everything in between. If this is something you would enjoy, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I will be sure to link these ingredients that I'm going to be using in my from my Amazon storefront. They will be li linked in the description box down below. The sweetened condensed coconut milk and the unsweetened shredded coconut. Um, I will also include the recipe so that you can make this sweet treat yourself as well. So things you're going to be needing, a measuring spoon, a mixing bowl, a measuring cup, flaked coconut, your sweetened condensed milk, a perch lined cookie sheet, and that's about it. So we're going to take our sweetened condensed coconut milk and we're going to be placing this into our mixing bowl. Once we've placed the coconut milk into the mixing bowl, we're then going to measure off one and three quarter cups of the flaked coconut. And then we're going to be combining these two really well. And the next step is really important not to skip. We're going to be letting our mixture sit for approximately 10 minutes. It's really important to let the coconut soap up the sweetened condensed milk so that your recipe won't bleed or your cookies won't bleed once they're going to be baked into the oven. This step will help prevent that. So we're going to combine our flaked coconut in with our condensed milk and mix well. Once your mixture is sitting for the 10 minutes, you're then going to be getting your cookie sheet and lining it with some parchment paper. If you enjoy my content, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to press the like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload new videos. I really appreciate you all tuning in for my content. Now we're setting the timer for 10 minutes. And then we're going to be taking our little cookie scoop and scooping out the mixture onto the cookie sheet. Now would also be a good time to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And once we've scooped all of our mi cookie mixture on to the cookie sheet, we are going to be baking them for approximately 10 to 15 minutes. It is important to watch them and make sure that they don't burn, but you do want the coconut to lightly, lightly brown. You could also broil them for just a couple of minutes as well so that the tops do get all nice and crispy and brown. It's entirely up to you how you would like to do it. This recipe yields approximately 11 or 12 coconut macaroons. The perfect sweet treat and super easy to make. So we're gonna place in the oven on the middle rack and bake for 10 to 15 minutes. Once the cookies are ready and come out of the oven, I decided to top them with some Enjoy Life melted chocolate and make these chocolate coconut macaroons. So I'm going to be taking Enjoy Life's mini chocolate chips and some coconut oil, and we're going to be mixing the two and placing in the microwave and heating up at 30 second intervals until the chocolate is completely melted. Once the chocolate is completely melted, I then take it and I'm going to drizzle it over the chocolate macaroon cookies. And then I place the cookies in the freezer. I place the cookies in the freezer for approximately like 30 minutes to an hour and let the chocolate and the cookie firm up. And then 
I place them in a container, glass container, plastic container, um, in the fridge. Uh, though these are so delicious they're not gonna last that long they're going to be eaten before you're going to need to keep them but I really liked having them frozen and and chilled firmly and then placed in a container in the fridge I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video I always like bringing you nice easy sweet treats all of my recipes are gluten and dairy free I will be sure to link the recipe in the description box below as well as links to my Amazon storefront for you to be able to get the condensed milk, the coconut, and the chocolate. I will include some videos at the end that I think you will also like to watch. Thank you everyone for joining me today and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for tuning in everyone. Bye-bye.